I'm here with Simon J. Williams. I mean, speaking about Return of the Jedi, we've all heard of the pink elephants in the room. You famously were the blue yes. elephant yes. Uh, in, in that band, you know. Yeah. And uh, what, what was it that gave the idea for that? What was the inspiration about that? Like, how did you find doing that? Well, I, I hit upon the opportunity by luck. Because I was hired as a puppeteer. And there were a whole different set of hirings for several my artists. Um, but I ended up doing more of what I call mime work rather than you know, this. I suppose actually there is a public to hear only half of it. He kind of he's similar to the basic human shape, as is a, a, a Mon Calamari. It's not as if I control the puppet with my hand like that. So he's a different him. But yes, I think the the guy who built it, Phil Tippett, had an idea that he was going to do it himself. Right. And then he tried to get in, and it was too tight and too claustrophobic, so he wanted someone else to do it. And for some reason he picked it. And I thought, this is fantastic, I'm bright blue in the middle of a largely dark set. People can't, you know, fail to notice me. You guys were very much the pioneers at that stage, and like you were saying, there were moments where it was really uncomfortable. You, you had to go right in there and, and, and yeah. spend long hours being uncomfortable and, and get to yeah. that. So. The, um, most uncomfortable was doing a mystic in the Dark Crystal because of the physical positions you had to be in and give a performance at the same time. It was, it was literally backbreaking. So that was, you know, any really long takes were agony. And they used to have a little stool that they would stick in underneath us between takes. But you couldn't fully get out of the costume because it was so involved getting inside it that you kind of get out between takes. You know, a good deal longer to set up the next shot. But the interesting thing about it is, if you're in a costume like this on a break, and your dresser comes, would you like a cup of tea? My head is about here, but the creature's head is there. Yeah. And what they do is they're, they're speaking to the creature's head. So you're saying, June, I'm back here. Oh, sorry. And then they come, would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. So it's, because they, li they live, the, the, the characters live. Yeah. Puppets live, you look automatically at the eye, yeah. even though that's your hand. Yeah. But, but thanks very much, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you, and uh, good, luck, good luck with what lies ahead. Thank you.